Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser and I want to show you how to check your brake fluid. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, wear our safety glasses of course. This is your brake fluid master cylinder right here, the reservoir right there. This is the cap obviously. On the cap, it should tell you what fluid to use. So we'll just pull it off, we'll take a look. Down here it says use only dot three fluid. So that means you want to use dot three fluid. It says right there on your bottle. They have other fluids like dot four, dot five, whatever. Um, you definitely don't want to top it off with dot five fluid. Dot three and four is hydroscopic, which means that it absorbs moisture. Dot four, uh, five, sorry, is hydrophobic, which means that it repels moisture. Two totally different types of fluid. You don't want to mix the two. So we'll set this aside. I wanted to show you a neat little tool that we have here. This is a brake liquid tester. What it does is it tells you the amount of moisture that's accumulated inside your brake fluid. Like I told you, DOT3 is hydroscopic, so it's gonna absorb moisture. Just sitting in the air like this, having it open, if it's humid out today, it's absorbing the moisture from the air. So, with that said, let's move along. And we sell this brake fluid tester right at 1AAuto.com. Here's our little tester prongs. Right here's our little level indicator. You're gonna tap it. It's turned on. On the level it says 1%, 2%. Those are okay. You start getting up to 3 and 4%, you're gonna wanna do a brake flush. So let's go ahead and touch those two prongs into the brake fluid. Looks like we were sitting at about 1% moisture inside of our brake fluid, which really isn't very bad at all. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna clean this off. Next, what we can do is we can check the level of our fluid. If you come right along the side, you can see a couple level indicators. There's just lines. There should be an upper line up there. That's your full mark. If it looks like it's just below that, it should, should be good to go, okay? If it's sitting way down here and it's way past the low mark, you're gonna wanna top it off. Use the specified fluid, which is DOT3 brake fluid. Once you're done, you're gonna take your cap you're gonna put it back on your master cylinder, just like that, and off you go. If you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.